is that Keith Kresge scores one goal. Helps the homeless. Had a great time this year. Got uh, drafted into the women's uh, division. Great fun. Great fun. and Children's Services with the Bloom Group and we operate Powell Place Emergency Shelter for homeless women in the downtown east side. Hockey Helps the Homeless has contributed funds to this project so currently we're on the site of our pre-existing shelter which obviously has been here for 30 years. It's very tired. It no longer met our, our needs and also we want to expand to double our services so all this space will be redone um, not only to be able to serve a, a greater number of women, but to serve them in a more comfortable and a more respectful environment. So this will be our new entrance. As you can see, it's right on street level, which means women are in safely and meeting a supportive staff person as soon as they approach the shelter. And it also creates a sense of uh, safety on the street because we're present and we can kind of watch out for the women and support the community to be safer, even the street front of our shelter. My name is Carrie Belanger and I work with the First United Church Ministry. This is the storage area at the First United Church. Let me show you inside. We have many people who store very personal belongings in our storage bins. One lady in particular has a wedding dress that she feels is safe so she doesn't lose it. Another lady stores her genealogy journals as well as many people store their own personal photographs, journals, anything that they want to pass along to their families that are important to them. The storage facility means so much to our community because it gives them a safe place. This is their area, this belongs to them. This bin right here belongs to that one person. No one else is allowed to go into it. So that means that anything they put in there is safe. Oftentimes people living in shelters aren't allowed to bring all their belongings into the shelters. So those shelter providers will refer people to us to store their belongings as well. and I'm the Associate Director of Development and Communications at Covenant House Vancouver. Um, so the money that Covenant House receives from Hockey Helps the Homeless goes directly to our outreach program, which is a program that sees um, our staff, our youth workers, go right out onto the streets to make contact with youth there. Let's them know about the services we provide, hands out sandwiches, and encourages us them to come and drop into our drop-in or perhaps even muster up the courage to come to our crisis shelter. This kind of support that Covenant House receives from the community is really vital to our success because we are privately funded, so it's literally our bread and butter. It's, it's vital to us being able to provide services 365 days a year to Vancouver street youth. Um, and I'd just like to say to everyone who participates, the sponsors and those participating in Hockey Helps the Homeless, um, thank you so much. Your support really does mean the world. Hi, my name is Bill Briscoll, and I'm the Communication Manager here at Rain City Housing. This is our triage permanent shelter. Why don't you come inside? The money that we're getting from Hockey Helps the Homeless is going to refurbish a lot of our meal programs and our kitchens and our organizations, which is huge, because even though we can provide shelter and meals, not every program actually has a kitchen and meals. Hi, my name is Bob Pearson. I'm the Chief Cooker at Rain City Housing. Thanks for coming by. The kind of food we like to cook, especially during the winter months, is uh, 
typically like a beef goulash, a really hearty beef goulash with uh, lots of vegetables and a rich gravy. On any given day during the winter months, we might feed uh, two to 300 people twice a day. Uh, harissa spice, we've got cumin in there. Um, and then there, I, I can sneak some prunes in and people won't even notice because it's in a, and it's in a rich, darkened gravy. Uh, and then of course, roasted chicken. Uh, chickpeas, a touch of lemon. What time is dinner? <laughs> I want some. <laughs> yeah, okay. The meals really bring people together and create community, which wasn't necessarily there beforehand. Uh, it uh, generates a space and time for people to meet, uh, get to know each other, get to know the place they're living and their neighbors, and um, as well as keeping everyone really, really healthy. Thank you so much to Hockey Helps the Homeless. It means so much to us to receive this money and to do this additional programming so so many people can get a hot, healthy meal. My name is Dina Kleshinsky. I'm the community developer at the Urban Native Youth Association. The 250 youth that take part in AYF every year get opportunities to step in and try new sports and activities that they may never have imagined trying before. In doing so, they gain amazing confidence and a sense of purpose. They feel excited and are proud of the skills they're gaining and actually are quite eager to share them with other youth and to step into leadership roles where they um, continue on and volunteer and pursue employment in areas that they're passionate about. On behalf of Anya and all the youth that we serve, I raise my hands up to Hockey Helps the Homeless, the volunteers, sponsors, and everyone that comes out for a great event. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lani Johnson. I'm the development manager with the Lookout Emergency Aid Society. And we're here at the Yukon Housing Center where, thanks to Hockey Helps the Homeless, we will be building a bed bug sauna. Now the, the thing that I really appreciate about here is if I was going through a really rough time, if I had a lot of hard stuff happening, this is a place I would want to be able to stay. Um, you want to have somewhere to rest your head, have a good meal in your tummy. And so let me show you one of the rooms. I would go and I would check out the beds and I would sit on them and make sure it's somewhere that I would be willing to stay if I had nowhere else to go um, and I felt safe in. And here at the Lookout and at the Yukon shelter in particular, this is definitely somewhere um, where I would tell people you can go, you can be safe, you can have somewhere to rest your head and get back on your feet. So We help about 10,000 people a year, whether it's through um, one of our four homeless shelters. We have 19 buildings in total, and so a lot of those are more supported housing, so people that have come out of homelessness, but they need some support and they, they, need, they may never be able to work due to addictions, mental health issues, it might be physical disabilities. So we have um, home with support for them. Hockey helps the homeless. We, we are so grateful because this year they raised money for us to be able to build a bed bug sauna. Now, this is not a very sexy topic, <laughs> bed bugs, but if you can imagine uh, being homeless, being on the streets, uh, starting to get your life on track, maybe you're starting to face addictions, maybe you've had mental health issues um, that you're just starting to get some help for, and many people have been through really traumatic um, circumstances. And if you add on top of that bed bugs, <laughs> which when I'm having my best of days, the thought of a bed bug is traumatizing, <laughs> to say the least. I just wanna tell everyone involved with Hockey Helps the Homeless, from the sponsors, to the participants, to the players, thank you so much. Uh, what you guys do uh, over the years, and in particular this year with the bed bug sauna, it makes such a difference um, to us, to our staff, and especially um, to the people that we serve. So, thank you.